G'day gamers, Vader G here, welcome back to the channel. Well, sneak peek number two. Uh, so we all we had sneak peek number one, right, which confirmed Hulk uh, coming into the game uh, in the Fear Itself uh, update. So the whole update Fear Itself, which is really cool. And what we've seen so far is a plethora of combat villains coming in. I mean, I can't remember seeing so many villains come in in one hit, uh, and particularly one class of villain. So combat villain, I mean, Titania, Hulk, Juggernaut, I mean, Absorbing Man. So it's, it's a cool thing. I mean, I, you know, you guys know how I love villains. I love my villains. But to have some potential options, uh, also to upgrade these characters, which, I mean, Hulk is kind of probably still a little bit revel relevant in uh, Alliance Conquest, I guess. I don't know. I don't really play Alliance Conquest. But these other characters really have been, you know, discarded for the longest time. So... Really, really cool. Uh, let's talk about Hulk first. Looks like he's going to get the Tier 4 treatment. And if that's the case, then I'm probably pretty close to actually being able to Tier 4 another character. Um, look, I've got to be honest. I've never really... You know, I used him in Alliance Tournament. I used him in Timeline Battle a little bit. I never found him to be super effective for me because uh, he requires HP to get the most out of him uh, because his attack is scaled off HP uh, with his uniform. Um, so yeah, I kind of felt like I never really got full value out of a tier 3 Hulk uh, when I did tier 3 him and took this Mortal Hulk uniform to Mythic. So I'm really looking forward to potentially a different Hulk. A Hulk that may also be uh, oriented towards PvE instead of PvP. And I'm just, I'm, I'm wondering, what do you guys think? Do you think that's a possibility where we may actually get a Hulk that... You know, may be useful for like a, you know, kind of like a, a hybrid character where PvE and PvP. Maybe you could see him up with a CTP of destruction, a reforged destruction, whether it be a mighty or a brilliant, and use him in both modes. Uh, that would be really nice. Kind of similar to what Thanos used to be uh, when he was when he was ABX meta and also Alliance Tournament meta and timeline meta. So that would be really nice uh, if that's what if that's what came with this new uniform. Uh, with the fear itself uniform he looks badass in it um so yeah but I, I would like to see that you know the the damage scaled off hp um that sort of function removed from his kit with his new uniform that would be something that i'm hoping for uh let me know what you guys are actually hoping for i mean if he is a pve character uh, and particularly if he's hybrid, he's going to have immense value in the game. Uh, I mean, we've got, what have we got? we got Kingpin and, and Dr. Octopus uh, for Alliance Battle Extreme. There's not too many combat villains that are really good uh, in World Boss Legend. We're probably looking at Doc Octopus. He's, he's probably the best of them, I would say. Kingpin really is not good. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. Let me know what you guys are hoping for. Uh, Either way, I think there's going to be a shake-up to the Alliance Battle Extreme meta. That's one thing that I can kind of, Well, the writing's on the wall, right? we got four characters, all uh, combat supervillain. Titania, also a combat uh, female, also a female supervillain. Um, you know, potentially we could have... If Titania is really good with her Awakened skill we could have some really, really significant changes in the Alliance Battle Extreme meta, um, which would be nice to see, you know, to a degree. You know, it is expensive. But let me know what you guys think. Would you like a change in the Alliance Battle Extreme meta? Would you like to see Titania go from zero to hero? Uh, she's kind of like a support character. She's got good leadership. Uh, kind of like a support character at the moment. Uh, Juggernaut. I'm assuming he's going to get a tier 3 skill, although I don't know. Um, the reference in the sneak peek did kind of talk about Awakened only, so I'm not entirely sure. He, he Look, he was solid back in the day when he was first released, Juggernaut, um, but never matter. He was solid for for PV, PvP modes, not really PvE. Um, so really, only ever really been like a Shadowland type of character, and really not even that great in Alliance Conquest. Um, so yeah, really hoping he gets some love. I mean, he's a paywall character. It's going to be a paywall uniform because, you know, you're going to need his paywall bios to either rank it up or you're going to need a rank up uniform ticket. Um, so he should be powerful. And if he gets his tier three, uh, he may actually, you know, I don't know. I don't know where he's going to fit. He's he's super tanky, right? He's, he's all about defense. I mean, if you look at his... I think it's his, is this his leadership? Yeah, okay. Increase all basic defenses. 
you know, close to self. Okay, so he's, he's but it took, in my mind, he's always been that real sort of high defense type character, as you would expect. He should be impenetrable, effectively. Um, but yeah, he's he's never been on the meta. Uh, and Absorbing Man, I don't really know what to say about Absorbing Man. He has always been really garbage. Um, so look, my for mine, really, really cool to see these characters getting a rework. Uh, looking forward to this update, looking forward to the uniforms, looking forward to this big unit, hopefully clapping some ass in PvE modes. Um, and if not, you know what, it's probably a cool thing because it's it's probably about the PvP guys have probably been yearning for a, a, an OP tier 4 character. So anyhow guys, let me know what you think of the update. Are you excited? Are you kind of going, yeah, whatever. Uh, personally, I love seeing the I love seeing the villains, the trend in the villains. I also love seeing them all combat class. It's a kind of a weak class in the game. Alright guys, have a good one. See ya.